Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Noor Saira and this is my partner Afif. And in today's, um, I, I would like to send my greetings to our lecturer, Ms. Asma. I hope you're doing well and happy. In today's interview, I'll be interviewing two individuals, Noor Dania and Joshua. We'll be uh, asking them a few simple questions and we're going to be analyzing their responses in our um, assignment. Okay. So Joshua and Dania, um, I'll, okay, let's start the question with Dania, yeah? How are you and can you describe a bit about yourself, your age, where you're from, your job, things like that? Hi, my name is Dania. I'm, 20, I'm 24 years old. I'm from Malaysia, but I just grad, I, I'm in the UK to study, but I just graduated. I'm starting my job in the NHS uh, as a dietitian. And I am doing very well today. Thank you. Okay, Josh, what about you? Yeah. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm from Melbourne and um, I am currently studying in the field of accounting. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, um, so next question um, to Dania first. Um, so what's your favorite food and can you describe a bit about your lifestyle? And do you go to the gym frequently? Um, my favorite food in the entire world is um, I have a very a messy sweet tooth. Uh, so I like oh, same. <laughs> so I like chocolates and cupcakes and stuff like that. And my lifestyle um is pretty much very busy. Uh, I work and I study. So my food obviously revolves around my schedule. And um, <laughs> to answer the question, do I go to the gym? Not really, um, not that much. I try to keep it fit and healthy, but I love to do yoga when I'm free. Okay. So how about Joshua? So actually my favorite food is McDonald's and I don't live a very active lifestyle. In fact, I live a very uh, sedentary lifestyle. I don't exercise much. I just uh, stay at home and uh, watch movies and I like junk food. Okay. All right, great. Um, let's move on to the next Interesting. question. Interesting. <laughs> let's move on to the next question. Dania, what celebration do you celebrate each year? And what are the common dishes, dishes that are served during that time of the year? And are you interested in trying another culture's food? Yes, um, I am from Malaysia. I'm a Malay, so I'm a Muslim as well. So I celebrate Eid every year. Um, although it's very different from you know Eid um, in Malaysia, but in the UK, I, we still do have a very strong um, Malay community, and we do. All the same foods that we have in Malaysia, such as rendang, nasi impik, tupai, satay, and stuff like that. And it's this year was very nice. It was in the summer, so we had a little barbecue in the garden, and it didn't feel like I was abroad at all. It was nice. Aww. All right, thank you, Tanya. Yeah, that's very nice, Tanya. Um, Josh, right. what about you? Well, actually, I celebrate Christmas. Because I'm from Australia, so Christmas is the biggest holiday, and we like to have barbecue and uh, turkey. Turkey is also very nice. So, are you guys interested in trying? For, let's say, Dania, are you interested in trying Joshua's culture's food? And Josh, are you interested in trying Dania's culture's food? Well, I am actually because I have lots of uh, friends from other, you know. I don't have, you know, you're my Australian friend, my one and only Australian friend, but I don't know. I do have um, English friends, but I've never actually, you know, uh, had the full on Christmas experience trying, you know, I've only seen the roast on television and stuff like that. It looks awesome. And yes, I would like to try um, what Christmas food tastes like. Uh, for my answer, actually, <laughs> I'm not actually very interested in trying different foods. I'm very much set in my comfort zone. 
Uh, and like like I said, turkey and barbecue is very nice. Okay. So next question, um, to Joshua first. So what do you think about yourself being a vegetarian? Oh, I definitely I cannot do it because uh, meat is very big in Australian culture, like lamb and beef and also would be very difficult for me to adopt that uh, lifestyle, you know, because I like lamb a lot and uh, all those types of uh, food, you know, red meat. I'm big on my red meat. See. So how about Dania? Well, um, if you, you personally, I would say, no, for now, I would not consider um, converting into a vegetarian diet. And as a dietitian, I believe that everyone should you know, I respect everyone's, you know, um, food they eat and they should eat whatever they want. But I do, I do wish to kind of increase my vegetable consumptions, but I don't think I would quit eating meat right now. See? All right. Great. Good answer. The next question is, consider this fact, yeah? When, you're become, when you become a vegetarian, it reduces the risk of cancer, it prevents you from getting type 2 diabetes, and it also lowers your blood pressure. So considering this fact, yeah, will you ever consider becoming one? Joshua? Oh, sorry. Like I said earlier, no, even with all the health risks you mentioned, Actually, I only like vegetables on like burger, you know, tomato and lettuce and all. That's the only time I eat vegetables and uh, french fry, you know, french fries, yeah. What about you, Danya? So, obviously, I think everyone knows that, you know, eating healthy, which has lots of fruits and vegetables in the diet, has so many health benefits, um, as you mentioned just now. Um, and I know this stuff, uh, but I don't, I believe that it doesn't mean that, you know, if you're vegetarian, that you're not eating healthy, you could eat a well moderate, a moderate balanced diet and should be sufficient enough. So, but always red meat, meat is recommended, you know, not too much, not too little, a bit of everything, uh, too much of everything is always not too good. So uh yeah so what you said is very you know uh, significant but i stand my ground but i prefer having a balanced diet which includes everything and but still lots of fruits and vegetables that's nice okay so we've come to the last question so for dania first okay so would you ever consider changing your diet to joshua's diet to Joshua's diet. Yeah. From what I've from what I've lis listened from what Joshua said, I don't think I think yeah. I mean, from what I've heard, Joshua, you like your junk food, McDonald's. And I do that as well. So yeah, I mean, I do I don't mind adopting a little bit of it, you know. Uh, when I'm having fun, when I'm out with my friends, but also as you mentioned just now, you know, the vegetarian and have and I also mentioned balanced diet. So I consider Joshua's diet a little bit into my diet, and it's all balanced, healthy, and a bit of junk food, McDonald's here and there. It's always good, good for your happiness, mental health. A bit of vegetables for physical, your actual health. So balance of both, it's good. Yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> So it means you don't change too much. You just adapt a little, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just pick, you know, pick and choose. Okay. So, so for Josh, will you ever consider to change your diet to Dania's? Wait, did Dania mention her diet? Because I actually wasn't listening, you know? Because all the stuff she mentioned earlier, when I heard fruits and vegetables, I already avoided, uh, you know, hearing what she was saying. Uh, what did you say again, Dania? Sorry, I, I don't know what you said. No, I was saying like I I try to have a balanced diet and so lots of fruits and vegetables, like 
most of the days and I would also kind of you know have a little bit of McDonald's and burgers whenever I'm um, have it going out so it's balanced you know so healthy and a bit of fun so it's good for your health mental and physical to be honest I don't agree with balance actually I think that it's uh, the food I eat is better because it's more uh, beneficial to my uh, psychological state you know if I don't eat McDonald's then I'm very unhappy okay I believe that, you know, you should yeah. eat whatever you want and it's personalized, yeah. you know? So, yeah, it's up to you. It's, it's everyone's choice. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, whatever. <clears throat> All right, great responses from both parties. Um, I hope you all had a very good time during this interview. Thank you again for spending the time with us and you know answering the questions that um, we have um, asked. Um, and I hope everyone will be having a great day. And take care, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. All right. My pleasure. Thank you.